Where in the World is Away by Michael Franti Illustrations by Ben Hodson Little Lee and Little Lou sat by a lake sharing a bottle of juice. It was a warm sunny day and the birds were at play and they smiled as they watched Mama Goose. As they finished the drink, Lou pulled back his arm and said, I'm going to throw it away. Stop, Lou, think before we make a mistake. Where in the world is a way? If we throw it in the lake, it's gone for today. But is it really a way? Not for the frogs who hip hop on logs or the fish who jump in the air or the little tiny things who live off the greens that grow at the bottom down there. All of the spills just fill up their gills, and it's so hard to breathe without air. They play hide-and-go-seek and think school is cool, so we shouldn't make a mess down there. I've got a plan, Lou started to say, over the hills where I'll throw it away. Not so fast, Lou, if I may say. Is over the hill there really a way? That's where the forest grows tall and wide, and all kinds of critters live deep inside. It's cool in the daytime and warm at night, and squirrels do twirls while birds are in flight. There are nuts and there are berries and there are bears and there are fairies and butterflies up in a tree. By the light of the moon they play drums with raccoons as the mice shout one, two, three. But if the forest has bottles on a hot sunny day, the sun magnifies and might set it ablaze. Then all the forest beings would run with a fright. We don't want that, Lou. No, you're right. Let's just throw it here on the street. Someone will come and eventually sweep. But look down below. Even up through the cracks there grows the tiniest blades of green grass, and where there is grass then grasshoppers be, and where there are grasshoppers, let's let them be. And besides, we all like to keep the street neat, and we don't need glass where there might be bare feet. There's far too much garbage and it just has to stop. The landfills are filling right up to the top. Then where is a way? said confused little Lou. And what of the bottle that there's no more juice? They spotted a bin with a round symbol on it, a can that said the word recycling on it. And inside the can there were hundreds of bottles, all kinds of shapes and colors and models. If we put it in there, will it go away? Sweet little Lou started to say. Lee opened her mouth to say, we'll never know. And just as she did, along came a crow. This crow at her feet was oh so unique, a crow named Mo with a beak that could speak. Good heavens, they shouted, how could this be? The crow said, relax, it's just little old me. If you'd like to know where old bottles should go, close your eyes, spread your wings, and follow this crow. The bottles are picked up by truck and transported to the glass sorting center where they are all sorted. Green ones go there and brown ones go here. There's a place for blue and for yellow and clear. All of the paper and caps are removed and yes, even those things are recycled too. All of the glass gets crushed into cullet, a word you mightn't heard, but that's what they call it. Then it's thrown into a furnace to heat to a temperature of over 2,000 degrees. Then when it's melted, it glows into goo. And then there are so many things you can do. You can bend it and shape it and pour it into molds like magical artwork or things that can, he can sold. And when it cools down, it turns, very, turns hard very fast and quickly returns into shiny smooth glass. It makes mirrors and lamps and grape jelly jars and even eyeglasses and windows for cars. There are so many things, so many to choose, and yes, you can even make bottles for juice. So, always recycle, said the crow with a smile, and reduce when you use every once in a while. When you reach for the bottle up high on the shelf, remember, away is just somewhere else. 
There are so many choices, said sweet little Lou, but here is a bottle we're going to reuse. And they each put a flower in it. The end. Now think about your own story. How can you reduce? How can you reuse? And how can you recycle?